So for the auto exposure module for Monaro, um, there is this uh, brightness value, which uh, goes from 0 to 1, and it maps 0 to 1 to certain values of exposure and gain. Uh, it's just a, a piecewise linear function. Um, for example, first we just change the exposure, then the gain, then the exposure gain, ga the ga then the gain again, and then the exposure again. Um, we also compute a score uh, of the image based on the histogram of the image, and we want that score to be close to zero. Uh, but if the image is too bright, the score will be close to one. And the image, if the image is too dark, the, sc the score will be close to negative one. So what the enabling the auto exposure does is just tries to adapt the brightness to uh, get the image score to be close to to zero. So when we move the headset, the brightness will adapt to uh, try to uh, keep the score on zero. So uh, right now it's working relatively fast, but in the probably in the final version I will slow it down a bit because there are a couple of corner cases when the algorithm starts oscillating, and yeah, for now I will slow it down a bit. And other thing that might be interesting is that you have strategy, uh, different strategies for the algorithm. The tracking strategy, uh, tracking strategy uh, prioritizes darker images because darker images means uh, images with lower exposure and lower gain, which is better for feature tracking uh, because we still have uh, decent contrast, but we we ha have less motion blur and less noise in the image. But if, for example, if you are more interested in having a, a in using the entire pixel range from zero to two fifty five, then you will use, for example, the dynamic range strategy, which tries to use the entire histogram, uh, and the image is a bit more bright in general.